Hey, what's up? John Sonmez here from simpleprogrammer.com. Just finished my workout here in Italy. I'm in the Tuscany region. I'm getting ready to leave to go to Venice, my final destination tomorrow, Domani. And um, I thought I'd give you a little bit of an update on, on my fitness stuff here while I've been out here because I, I believe in being genuine and uh, in coming clean and telling you guys how it is, telling the truth as much as possible because that's uh, well, that's that's kind of what makes um, what makes this channel different than I think a lot of the bullshit channels uh, that that people put out there where they're putting out a lot of uh, kind of fake shit and and not being real genuine or, or real. So. If you're not interested in fitness stuff or where I'm sitting with my fitness, then skip it. I don't know. I don't care. But uh, don't leave a comment that says that uh, why don't you do some programming related videos like you're supposed to. Because I ain't supposed to do shit. <laughs> I'm supposed to do whatever the fuck I want to do. Um, so anyway, you don't, you don't have to subscribe. You can unsubscribe if you want. Uh, if you want to stay and, and grow and learn and uh, you know take the lumps and the hits of life with me. Maybe maybe build up a little bit of better armor to to take them. Maybe even uh, pack some of your own punches. Then then let's continue the journey together. Otherwise, sayonara, arriva dirci. So anyway, um, while I, I'm just that's just I'm just playing. All right. So anyway, while I'm I'm here in uh, in Italy, while I've been traveling, I've been traveling for like two months now. I'm actually starting to get sick of the of the extended travel because man, I I fucking like routine. I really do. I I do, and uh, it's really hard to achieve goals without routine. And it's it's just really hard when you don't know where you're going to be and what you're going to be doing. And uh, man, I, I'm I'm <laughs> I'm I'm ready to get back to the fucking grind. The grind. There's some comfort in the grind. I'll, I'll tell you that. Right. So, not that you don't need to be sporadic from uh, you know every once in a while and and. Uh, you know, and, and get out of your comfort zone. Of course, you need to get out of your comfort zone. But what what was I going to say? Okay, so as far as diet and fitness and stuff. So I decided to go with the flow instead of against the grain here for this trip, specifically because I knew that I was going to Italy. And, uh, and in Italy, of course, you know, there's a lot of pasta, <laughs> a lot, a lot of pasta, a lot of pizza, a lot of good food. I mean, of, of all the places that when I travel and people say, you know, the food here sucks. Yeah, this is, yeah, the, the local food, you don't want the local food. We eat Italian food, right? So they always tell me, but Italy, Italy is great. Everywhere you eat is, is great. So I said, well, you know, I'm probably gonna be eating a lot of, a lot of ice cream and, you know, gelato and pizza and, and macaroni, spaghetti, stuff like that. So pasta. So I decided that what I would do while I was, I was here was I was going to try and hold it, hold the line as much as possible, but I've been wanting to do kind of a bulk for a while. I haven't done a calorie surplus in a while and I had been on the one meal a day thing. I've already alluded to this a little bit in some of my other videos here. I've been on it for about over three years now, basically hardly ever breaking it at all. So I said, okay, well, I, I kind of want to do some, some building of muscle. I haven't ever, I haven't done that for a long time. And it's really hard to build muscle on the kind of diets I've, I've been on. So I said, okay, well, while I'm on this trip, I'm, I'm going to eat a surplus. I'm not going to eat the one meal a day. In fact, I wasn't fully decided on this. I probably should have fully decided on this, right? I mean, this is going to sound a little bit like an excuse, and I guess it is. There's some justification going on here. But I should have fully decided before I left. But I kind of had this in my head. And then as I got on the trip and realized, okay, yeah, I probably should just um, go ahead and, and make this a bulk uh, bulk time um, and not a clean bulk unfortunately because it's just it's damn hard to like clean bulking while traveling in in multiple countries is so fucking hard because what are you gonna do like go to the restaurant and order like uh, give me a bunch of fucking chicken not gonna happen so um, I'm still trying to get the meal timing and stuff and protein and, and kind of macros as much as I can manage it but for all intents and purposes I'm doing a dirty bulk I, I was waiting for some music there. So anyway, yeah, dirty bulk. So, uh, so far strength is up a lot. I think I'm gaining some size, some mass, definitely losing some definition and get and losing some cut, but I'm, I'm planning in a week when I get back to San Diego to go back on the cut. And I believe that my metabolism should be back to normal now or, or pretty close, right? And what I'm finding is that my weight is now stabilizing after about, what's it, about a month and a half or so, almost two months. And not only that, but my hunger is not ravenous anymore, right? I can just eat a normal size fucking meal and not, not, not like before where when I was doing the one meal a day for a long time and running like 40 miles a week, I could pretty much, like I could, I could toast a food challenge. I could, I could dump 10,000 calories in one sitting if I wanted to, right? So 
so yeah, so that's a good sign. I think one of the things, you know, like I said, with, with the windmill a day, with the kind of crazy stuff I was doing before, it was it was slowing my, my, my metabolism down. There's no question about that. Uh, is that a bad thing or a good thing? That's something that I would I would debate, right? If you're trying to lose fat, trying to lose weight, it's a bad thing. But objectively, if you're trying to be more healthy, it's probably a good thing if your metabolism slows down a little bit because it means your system's more efficient. In fact, you know, I've talked about this multiple times, but the only thing that's ever been proven to expand the lifespan of mammals, which you're a mammal, if you didn't know that, I'm a mammal, we're mammals. Let's, wait, what, is there a song like that? Isn't like, isn't there some kind of song that goes, I wanna, you like an animal. I think that's it, yeah. So anyway, we're all mammals. But mammals have their lifespans expanded when they undergo calorie restriction, right? Almost uh, in accordance, like a direct proportion to the amount of calories that are restricted over their lifespan. They've done this test on rats. I think they've done it on something of a higher level of, of, uh, of ma mammal. Uh, but they haven't done it on humans. But, but they've gotten some an an antidotal, is that the word? Antidotal evidence uh, that, that sort of, you know, says this is probably right. So anyway... Uh, I think that, that that is a good thing, but like um, as far as getting cut and uh, you know getting shredded, as uh, as I like to be, uh, not not so good. So uh, I figure, well, you know, let's gain some muscle, let's eat some pasta, and uh, get the metabolism rev it up again, and then when I go back to my routine and my system, I will have some serious. Uh, gains as far as cuts, as far as cutting fat. So that's the plan. Hopefully it'll work. We'll, we'll see what happens. Um, but there is one other thing, right? I'm always talking about how I'm going to put out a diet and fitness program, but I'm also also talking about how I'm not doing it until it's perfect. Now, I've, I've come up with some really cool shit that's been working great. I mean, you guys have seen my videos. You've seen how sh freaking shredded and huge I've gotten. Some of you think I'm on steroids. I'll cue to the, you to the I'm not on fucking drugs video. I've got probably three of these. If you think I am cool, awesome, bro, you can just think whatever you want. But uh, anyway, I've been getting awesome results. But the the one thing I'm not happy with is, like I said, the metabolism slowing down. So the results started to stop. You know, one thing I did that that seemed to work to rev it up was I cut out all artificial sweeteners. That seemed to work. I'm still not. I'm still not taking any artificial sweeteners. Right. I I, I think that they're poison they're toxic as far as like the, the the effects that i've seen right are the difference i've seen when i cut them out is huge it's drastic so that's why i'm cutting them out i, I don't i don't believe any of the cancer causing bullshit or anything like that. maybe it does i don't know i don't care i all, all i care is that i get fat when i have them right or, or that it, it slows down my, my progress so anyway that's the one flaw that i have in the diet program is that the metabolism does slow down and so I'm trying to fix that. So I need to figure that out. So when I get back to San Diego, when I get back on my routine, I'm going to be trying out a couple of different things on the protocol. I'm going to be trying out something. I did this book review on the, it's called like timing, nutrition timing, something like that. I don't know. I just did it uh, right when I was leaving on the trip. And so I'm going to be incorporating that into my workouts and to the system. But I need some way to keep the metabolism revved up. So what I think I'm going to be doing is doing more extreme calorie loads and, and fasts. What I was doing was one load up day per per week, but I'm going to have to figure this out and, and see. I might try a few, a few different things to see what what happens here, but um, but yeah, I don't know. I'm, I'm probably sticking to the one meal a day thing, but I may try, and I've tried this before, alternate day of full fast. So... Um, yeah, maybe that that might that might work better. And I may I may also experiment with instead of one meal a day, doing um essentially on work on lifting days, doing maybe like two or three meals, like a, a more a bigger feeding window, and on run days no meals. Like so, you know, so it'll be get, get the benefits of fasting. Because remember, the reason why I'm doing one meal a day primarily is from a scientific from a health standpoint. Um, has to do with, with increasing the amount of fasting that I'm doing, right? So that I can deplete glycogen stores, increase in, insulin sensitivity, all of these things, right? Um, and and that's that's the key. So you can achieve that in multiple ways. There's no magic in eating one meal a day or fasting until five, but there is magic in extended fast, right? Uh, there's a really good book. I did a book review on it called The Obesity Code. Jason Fung, Dr. Jason Fung, uh, is an expert on this, and he's got a lot of good advice on this. And there's a huge benefits to fasting for 
periods of time, it's extended fast. So increasing the fast window is really the goal uh, for, for a lot of different reasons. So I'm not getting into all the details right now, but anyway, just wanted to give you an update to let you know what I'm doing and why I'm fat right now. Uh, but man, I, I'm feeling like a fucking slob. <laughs> I, I don't like eating dirty, honestly. Like, I mean, it's fun like for a little bit, but in general, like, I'm like, man, I don't know. I don't want to pound down pasta and, and like, it, I, I feel like shit. And then I'm like, wow, the, the only thing they really eat here in the restaurants and stuff is pasta, fucking pizza, gelato. Get, getting kind of sick of that shit. So anyway, that's, that's all I got for you. Uh, you know, there, there you go. That's my update to be totally honest with you. And, and you know, keep me in check here. I'm always afraid um, you know, when I get back, that I'm gonna n not get back to where I was, not not go. You know, this is my fear. These things remind me of my commitments. Um, I think I'm past it at this point, for at least for this. Uh, I'm pretty confident that when I go back, I'm going back to my routine, and I'm I'm gonna get get back. I, I'm training actually for also for some runs. I'm gonna be doing. I'm gonna be doing uh, two half marathons, and then I might actually be done with the half marathons. I may next year. I may become a sprinter. I may start going fucking sprinting and uh, and getting on a track team and trying to you know see what I can do there. I, I feel like I could do a really good 400 time. I feel like I should have run track in high school. Like I'm just feeling the fucking speed, man. That's that, that's what I gotta say about that. All right, <laughs> that's enough. All right, that's all I got for you. Take a a click and subscribe if you can, bro. All right, I'll talk to you next time. Take care.